Hey guys, so I thought I'd film up a call because I have a lot of books to show you and they just keep piling up. So the first book I got was The Ghosts in the Hills and this was sent to me by the author Matthew Pierce. And actually I really feel like reading this this month and if you guys want to go check out this book, I'll leave the link below to the Amazon link. This is about a high school football team and they have this history of losing every playoff game. So they haven't won a playoff game in 40 years. So I'm guessing maybe they win a playoff game soon. And I almost forgot to tell you guys I was excited because this is my first like book that I received from an author and he signed it. So he said to Geraldine, thank you for reading. I hope you enjoy. So that was really nice of him. So thank you, Matthew, for that. And I'm looking forward to reading this. So the second book I got, I fell in love with the cover. It's so pretty. And it's called Company of Liars by Karen Maitland. Just look at that cover. Like, look at this. The wolf head is made up of like crosses and bones and stuff. It's so nice. I love this cover. So this book is about the Black Plague and it follows these nine different strangers and somehow they come together by chance. And I'm really intrigued by the whole Black Plague thing. So I'm really excited to read this. The next book I read in like middle school or early high school, I don't really remember, but I just remember loving the story and I don't remember why. So I thought I'd get it and I found this amazing cover for it and it's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Like look at this cover. So pretty and it has inside flaps and this is back and that. So it was years ago that I read this, like literally years ago. So I am really excited to read this because I just remember loving the book and it being one of my favorite books. The next book is one of the books that I'm most excited for and it's The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I don't know if I'm saying that right but this is it. And this is the cover I wanted, so I'm really happy about that. So I've read Never Letting Go by this author, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I heard that The Remains of the Day was even better than Never Let Me Go. So I am so excited for this, and I just am so happy I own it now. So this next book is also by like an upcoming new author, and his name is Alexander Ola Dokin. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the book is called A Crook's Manor and it's The Prodigal's Curse. So I think he's planning on writing a series and this is the first book. And he didn't ask me to buy this or anything. I just found his YouTube channel and he mentioned that he wrote a book. So I want to support more up and coming and new authors. So I thought I would get this book since I saw it on his YouTube. So it's about this teenager. He spends most of his time in an orphanage and all of a sudden this night shape-shifting oh not just a normal night shape-shifting night comes to visit him and he claims that he knew Ludwig's parents he tells him that he's a descendant of a long line of warriors known as the paladins he tells him that he's in danger and that he needs to come with him so this shape-shifting night takes him to this world called world beyond and this is a place where he starts training to become this warrior. So if you want to check out a new author and are interested in this book, I'm going to be linking his link below to his book on Amazon. And the last book I pre-ordered and I'm so excited for, and it's The Mad Men's Daughter by Megan Shepard. So excited for this, did not expect it to be this fat either, but there was actually a story to this. There's a signing an hour away from me for this author's book and I can't go because I have class that day. So I've literally messaged my friends that live in the city and just people I knew and I'm like, can anyone go to the bookstore and get my book signed? But obviously it's too late for that because I have the book here with me now. And it says it's inspired by H.G. Wells' Island of Dr. Morrow and I actually War of the Worlds is one of my favorite books, so I'm really excited to read this. So that was my book haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to check out the blog that me and Phil are working on. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.